Dan Orlovsky joining SA and Shannon to talk about Mort's legacy. Dan, I'm going to start with you. Mm. Yeah, to your point, Christine, like the, the words by Shefty, who dear friends of Mort, beautiful job. I, I was so thankful to get to know Mort just for a little bit. And um, I, I think that for a believer like myself, you take a little comfort in knowing that his steadfast faith in Jesus not only takes him out of the pain from cancer, but also he's home in heaven. And when the news broke yesterday, again, I'd only knew more a little bit, but when the news broke yesterday, for someone who is one of the greatest ever at their job, everybody on social media was talking about him as a person. And so, um, you know, thankful for the time. My thoughts are with his family. And he truly, like we say this a lot, like someone to try and emulate with our lives because the impact that he had and the way that he walked and lived out his faith is something that certainly I will absolutely strive to be like. I'd known more 25 years. And um, when he was in the area, he used to live in Atlanta. I would see him from time to time. And he's always been great to me. He was a lot closer, knew my brother a lot better than he knew me because my brother worked at ESPN for a decade and they spent some time together. But every time I met him, a man that was kind, that was thoughtful, that was very considerate, very understanding, um, just full of energy, full of life, full of joy, uh, always positive, always great things to say about everybody, and he's going to be sadly missed. Um, I remember hearing his first diagnosis, and it was like, man, it just goes to show you that sometimes life can be so unfair, so cruel, mm -hmm. but he handled it the way he fought every single day of his life with dignity, um, never succumbing, um, saying, oh, me, why me, pity me, but proud to say call him a friend. Proud to say I've known him for two and a half decades. Rest in peace, Mort. Rest in peace. You know, um, <clears throat> you heard the news yesterday and just overwhelming sadness because he had so much to give, um, not just as a reporter, but as a man to his family, to his friends, to his ESPN family. And I know that a lot of times we see a lot of stuff in the news and you hear people, you know, chirping back and forth from time to time or whatever, but give ESPN credit. As a network, we strive to be a family. Uh, mm -hmm. The people that we work with every day, I look at you guys, got a lot of love for you guys, and of course you, Christine, and you know Molly and the team, and so many different people that have contributed to this show and this network. It's not an accident, Shannon, that you see people from all over the network constantly coming in and out of first take, get up, and things like that, uh, because we strive to get along, and we strive to look out for one another, and we strive to be there for one another. And from the time we heard the news about Chris Mortensen, Mort, uh, that we affectionately called them uh, from 2016 and beyond, you know, obviously we were concerned about him, but we saw him, you know, just pile on through and continue to fight the, uh, the good fight and to be as valiant as he has always been and as thorough as he has always been. It's not an accident that you see a guy like Larry Fitzgerald on that footage, you know, uh, just expressing his love and affection uh, for Mort because uh, Larry Fitzgerald is one of the classiest individuals you'll ever encounter. And you don't get praise like that from somebody like him unless you're a beautiful, beautiful human being, which obviously Mort was. And so, you know, on behalf of the show um, and the network as a whole, uh, we suffered a devastating loss when we heard the news yesterday. Our love and affection and um, our condolences go out to his family, his loved ones, uh, but he was a member of our family, obviously, as well. And the network, no matter how great we strive to be and how great we aspire to be, uh, it's a devastating loss. Um, and there's no question about it. It's something that, you know, there's an empty, empty feeling today to know that he's no longer going to be here because all of us valued him tremendously and we'll miss him dearly. Yeah, certainly a tough day for the entire sports world. Mort is survived by his wife, Mickey, and son, Alex. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, are with them, as he will certainly never be forgotten.